When the main character can stamp out all of his ops without having any physical features, you know he's a goated demon in disguise. When your main character can constantly pull up on his ops, and even they know it's their time to die, and they know they will suffer instant death. That you know you have yourself a black air force wearing demon on your hands let's talk about the underappreciated beast from the anime dororo called haikimaru aka aniki you know this man or should i say boy right here yeah he's literally talented he's innately born with his black air force energy with his talent with his beastism you know within him literally from the beginning of the anime this character was literally on smoke and to be honest there's a reason for that like i said he was born without real emotions expression he was born without body parts you know he had lots of prosthetic parts for his body you know he had fake eyes fake hands fake arms fake legs and the only way for him to get back his body parts was to kill other demons now how can you possibly kill other demons just being a mere human well you have to become a demon yourself you have to have that energy you know you have to have that savage life about you so that kind of indicates how or why he has to have this black air force energy because you're up against demons himself so how do you take them out by becoming what they are he has enhanced physical abilities due to the side effects of his father offering his body parts to the 48 demons that he's now trying to slay aikimaru basically possesses demonic strength and enhanced and enchanted his senses that help him kill demons so due to the side effects of him losing his body parts he did gain a positive effect which is though obviously the demon energy the demon power and this allows him to get onto that demon time and slay and get back what is rightfully his in addition he's got an ability called soul sight right so although he was born blind he can still see the colors of other people's souls which allows him to indicate if something's evil if something's good if something's bad you know which obviously aided him in search of the demons that he was looking for he's also very proficient with his swordsmanship and he learned these skills when he was younger and his swordsmanship isn't very clean and pretty i would say it's more actually more brutal you know an outlandish almost to match his nature and what he's up against which i feel like makes his character beautiful in general because the fact that he has got to fight in an aggressive manner you know because all that built up pain and anguish that he has in him from obviously his abandoned family he's obviously struggles with not having any body parts etc so the way he uses his swords isn't very clean it's very like i said outlandish and his swordmanship skills are more for fighting demons rather than being a samurai and fighting actual humans and it's completely shown within the anime when he's just slaughtering humans and cutting right through them you can see that he's been up against something greater before than humans in itself so like i said before this character is literally the embodiment of pain anguish suffering being untreated fairly you know being abandoned and he's literally put this within his sword you know and he walks around with this constantly trying to get revenge for the life that he lived and like i said it's shown constantly throughout his fighting and you can say that part of his life is the thing that keeps him going that anguish that suffering is the thing that keeps him moving because like i said he wants that revenge he wants that vengeance on his opposition on his enemies to get his limbs back and obviously to kill his father like i almost feel like his character is almost a perfect main character within an anime franchise because he does not hesitate to kill his opposition you know this is not unrealistic like certain shows where the main character tries to befriend the enemy no anyone that's his opposition to him yeah we put to rest gracefully swiftly and instantly and I feel like that's what we need in lots of main characters today. We need that ruthlessness, you know, that rage within you. And I feel like he's definitely got that, you know. When he walks around, he's almost like a bad omen, even though he is a good character. And I feel like his character is definitely being written gracefully. We get introduced to a child that's got no emotions, that's got no feelings, that's got no heart. And slowly he develops more personality wise. He's able to express his feelings and gain laughter and laugh about certain things as the story goes on while gaining back his limbs so as he's gaining different parts of his body and his limbs etc he's now gaining more feelings more expressions 
you know he's becoming more human but that beast is still inside of him and that's what makes his character real crazy because i feel like those people that got real black air force energy you don't need to show it at all the times only when the time is right and he definitely does this constantly but guys what do you think this is your boy jay unchained if you enjoyed this video please subscribe i'm trying to get like the big dogs yeah show your boy some love you leave your comments below yeah i'm looking out peace